This is Jeff Crosby with the Central District Fishing Report. Lake temperatures across the district are running in the upper 70s to lower 80s. It's a great time of year to get out and do some fishing. Bass fishing across the district is very good. Uh, try your luck uh, casting crate baits, spinner baits, or bladed baits. Concentrate your efforts on points and uh, round pockets are uh, great areas to try this time of year also you may want to try creature baits jigs or plastic worms uh, especially fished around fallen trees or brush piles crappie are still being caught at area lakes such as taylorsville beaver or boats lakes try your luck fishing live minnows or crappie jigs uh, fished around brush piles or fallen trees Additionally, bluegill and red ear sunfish are being caught at area lakes such as Beaver, Elmer, Bolts, McNeely, and Corinth Lakes. Uh, try your luck catching a few of these, fishing uh, red worms, crickets, or wax worms. Fished in pockets in the vegetation or in uh, small pockets uh, along the shoreline of the lake. And finally, don't forget about your local Finns Lake. The Finns Lakes have been stocked uh, with channel catfish this time of year. So it's a great opportunity to get out and catch a few of these fish. Uh, try your luck fishing commercial catfish baits or liver or night crawlers are great baits to catch a few catfish this time of year. So grab a pole, enjoy some great summer fishing, and I hope to see you on the water. This is Tom with your fish report from the Northeast. Going to start over at Grayson Lake today where we have some reports of the hybrids and the jumps on the main portion of the lake. And I'd also keep an eye out for them near the Clifty arm of the lake. When they're the jumps like this, they're usually chasing shad, so anything you can cast into them that mimics the look of shad would be great. I've also got some reports of a decent bite of crappie in 8 to 10 feet of water on brush piles and near weed edges. Bluegill are coming off the nest, but you can still find them here and there nesting. Similar up at Cave Run Lake, crappie on the main lake brush piles and bluegill backing off their first round of nesting. Still have not heard good reports of the white bass starting up in the jumps, but it should be nearing time for that. For both Cave Run and Grayson, look for catfish nesting, which means it's everyone's favorite time of the year, hand fishing season. Look for cavities under big, bigger rocks that don't have silt settled around them and usually have bluegill on the outside. This is a surefire bet that there's a catfish back there, or at least one has been back there. Lastly, this is peak farm pond season. If you're having difficulty fishing your favorite little pond because of weed problems, please call your local district biologist for assistance with that. We can usually get you the best advice to attack your problem with a picture or two. Numbers and email addresses for your district biologist can be found by typing My County Contact into the search bar on our website, fw.ky.gov. That should do it for us wherever you go. Stay cool, stay safe, and good luck. This is Caleb Bentley with the Kentucky Stocking Report. This week across the state, we stock channel catfish, rainbow trout, smallmouth bass, and hybrid striped bass. The channel catfish was stocked in Tom Wallace Park Lake, Fisherman's Park Lake, both number three and number four, Lake Polywar. Robert J. Barth Lake, Scott County Park Lake, Lesby Park Lake, Easy Walker Park Lake, Miles Park Anglers Lake, Miles Park Green Heron Lake, Waverly Park Lake, Alexandria Lake, and Southgate Park Lake. Rainbow Trout were stocked in Otter Creek on Fort Knox, Nolan Lake Tailwaters, Roundstone Creek, Lynn Camp Creek. Spunmouth bass were stocked in Laurel River Lake, and hybrid striped bass were stocked in Barron River Lake. Good luck fishing and stay safe. <laughs>